presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, a great week, folks. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are that way because... You are that way because that is what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe is your creation. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 156, Nasdaq's down 10, S&P's off 15. Gold, gold contract down $3.10, trading at 1920 an ounce. We have silver down 14 cents, 23 dollars five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off uh, up $1.68, $69.38 a barrel. Notes and bonds, 10-year note. Trading up 13 ticks, 113.08. The 30-year up 22 at one. 2807 and king dollar king dollar right now is trading where are you baby there she is up 436 at 102.928 the euro is at 109 the yen is at trading at a price point of 144 and the british pound is 126 to 1 us dollar our phone number is 877-927-6648 give us a call folks want to know what's going on in your world just had to hit that button, folks, okay? Because this, that we just came down and tested here. Let's go do it. <laughs> so let's go over to the E-mini first. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so we did the update just prior to it. We were looking at that bar, and we just came down to this bar, and you're going to see a rejection here. It's going to be interesting to see how this shakes out. This is, this is July 4th in summer trading combined, folks. That's what's so wild. So you can see what we just did when I did the update. We were talking about the bar. The bar uh, has 58,000 contracts. The bottom of that bar was the uh, 4406. No, 44. Oh, man. 4403. Bottom line is that we just got down to 4401. How many minutes were into this? You're, yeah, you get nine minutes. It's not going to happen. It's going to be a rejection of lower price. This is just a you know shake out down to the bottom. You're going to see the market rally again. Let me see. Did I get my trade? Did I get it? Hmm. Okay. Um, bottom line, you know, we'll see how this shakes out now. now. Now the bottom line is that you can see what happens here. We'll start. You're going to get a rejection. Now the question is going to be is that do you have any juice to go back topside? Or are they going to unload on it? That's on the E-minis, okay? We go into the NQs, we take a look at the NQs. Okay, so the NQs, that bar, 19,000 contracts, 13,000. Not enough sellers, folks. That's the bottom line. You're going higher. You know, this is just, we're trying to trading range, but that, that's how this shakes out. See, you can see on the way back up, we didn't have enough juice either to get into the bar on the way down. So what we had done in, inside the NQs is that we did just over 50% retracement on the way up, which is, you know, which is bullish. You know, well, at a 50%, you know, you really don't know. It goes both ways, actually. This is a little bit over. But the E-minis... When we did that, we did, let's see what you got here. That was just about a 50. 
Gold. We just take a look at the gold contract out here. Excuse me. Gold contract right now got down to 1911. Excuse me. It's trading 1919. You're going to have a contraction of volume. Let's go look at the GLD for a second. So the GLD is rejected low. Of, oh, this is nice, man. This is real nice. Okay, so check this out. If the GLD could get about oh, 20 cents higher. So 177.63 is your benchmark and you know you, you can see right now we'll be below that by basically 17 cents you're going to have much lighter volume even in the benchmark of 7.9 million so that's what we want to see because you have the rejection of lower price again but you want to get inside that range notes and bonds they want higher price higher price lower yield are coming at us this is going to be really wild between Jerome Pyle, between the Fed, the whole ball of wax. You know, we get another sideways move out here, but you can see this, see this up here? 1.2 million contracts, that's it. That is low contract volume beyond belief. And we did get down to 112.26, it rejected it. That's saying higher prices want to come at us. And then we go over to the good old US dollar. Dollar out here is as a trend going well, my take is that the dollar is not going to be able to hold price. You know, we got to a price point today of 103, 145. You're at 102, 296 right now. You know, so that baby's telling me that uh, the way this is setting up, it's still setting up to get down to the lower end versus the higher end. So the higher end of the range that we're in is 105, 800. The lower end is 100.788 you know some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today and you know for summer trading you get some nice volatility and you got it ranges you have the tesla is up uh, five and a half uh, dollars you got carnival up a dollar and a half we have uh ford up 30 cents Cavana's up uh, three set 370 look at that man that thing was at two dollars now it's at 28 it's a 10 banger already that's pretty wild you got uh c3 up two if we uh go inside the ndx 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness lucid is up uh, five five and a half percent you get netflix up three and a half percent series up three percent taken away from a jd's off 2.9 you got regenera off 2.5 qualcomm's off two and you have uh, American Electric uh, off 2%. Uh, Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now down 106. NASDAQ's up 16. S&P's off 8.5. We'll come right back. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 112. You get the Nasdaq up 20. S&Ps are off seven and a half. And let's go to NVIDIA. So <clears throat> this has had quite a ride out here today. Uh, NVIDIA, the low out here today was 405. The high is 418. And look at this. It doesn't even... So what you have with NVIDIA here... You know, we have a huge gap that's open. There's no, there's no doubt about that. That being said, with the news last night and how this didn't affect, it, it, like, to be down $7, folks, okay, um, and you're going against a high volume low of $59 million, you get $51 million. It would have been nicer, actually, if the equity could have come down a little bit long further to, to hit that number because now what happens is that that's almost like a little building of cause but bottom line is it's still in great shape so that thing's not going anywhere man you know not just yet let's put it that way we gotta take a look at uh microsoft let's take a look at some of these big magnificent seven see where these babies are hanging out Yeah, so it's up 41 cents. You don't have much action going there. You got to remember that we're going into July 4th, folks. This is something crucial to remember. And once you get going, see, we're on a Wednesday. You know, once you get going, they'll keep us, you know, a small range going. But the bottom line is that my take, this thing still wants to go to highs. Somehow, some way, we're going to go attack those highs because those are high volume highs. You can see right in Microsoft. Microsoft's a high volume high. We go to... Uh, Apple. Now, Apple isn't. Apple, Apple's just high. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where was that? Apple had a high volume high. Now, that high volume high on Apple is at uh, 106. No, no. One, 186.99. You know, 186.99. And so at that particular point, uh, bottom line, everything over that 
has been on light of volume. If we go over to this S&P again, you got to see this because this is this is a classic, particularly, you know, when you're coming into closes and you've already had one of these during the day, that, that shakeout that just got done right when I was getting on the air. So it's going to be intriguing. You can see that that S&P, you're talking about moving, man. That S&P, well, it moved 11 points down about a heartbeat, yet it didn't break it. Uh, and you can see what you're looking at now. You know, you got intraday, we get three higher lows. Now, we don't have higher highs, that's for sure. You know, we got to take a look at the Google. Oh, no, I know. I, I want to go in the oil market. We got to look at the oil market, man. So, oil. Okay, so oil got down to 67, rejected it. 343,000 contracts. Put this up. Going into, okay, this is a good rejection. We were going into, that's six, no. Yeah, we were going into 405. Going into 405, we've only done 340 free. So that looks like it's going to basically try to, you know, stay in this consolidation at this particular point. My larger take, though, is that this is building cause to get down to these lower numbers. The reason I'm saying that is that the low, the spike low at 63, 64 does have volume. That's how you get to basically look at that. But, you know, the longer that you did go, would go sideways, the... That could run that off. That can actually run that off. We'll see how that shakes out, but it could run it off. If we go to the XLE and you take a look at the XLE out here. That's running higher today, and the volume's not bad. It would be nice if you had 16 million in the XLE. You don't, but bottom line, it looks to me like the XLE does want to run to this 82 area. And then we go to the XLF, and we take a look at the XLF out here. And that's just still building cause. You know, the XLF, you know, looks to me like the lows are in, but it's going to take quite a while to basically build some cause on that baby in order to get to higher price. The TLT, this is going to be the big number, man. The rates are going to be the big number. <coughs> TLT out here today, let's put this on a weekly. So on a weekly, it's going after the 109, we're at 103. It's going to leave not more juice though. Yeah, you can see this is going to be, need a lot more buyers in order to get up there. But that's how that baby's set up right now. That's, that's how it's set up. You got the... Let's go inside the Dow Industrials, take a look at the Dow Industrials, strength versus weakness out here. Okay, so you got Salesforce putting 17 positive points, Chevron putting 8, Boeing putting 7, Apple putting 7, taken away from it. United Health, minus 43, Home Depot 43, minus 43 that is, Travelers minus 28, Amgen minus 13. If we get over and we take a look at the diamonds, let's see what those babies are doing. And then we'll go into the small caps. You take a look at the diamonds, that's just a sideways move, but that's also looking to get to its highs. The IWM. Now the IWM doesn't have a, a high volume high up at this uh, 189. We're at 184 right now. It just doesn't have it. It doesn't mean it won't go there. But it's getting, I guess the flat, the flat would be at 185, which is right above it, which is not a, not a bad deal, actually. You know what I'm saying? It's not that much higher. There's no doubt about that. The uh, trading-wise, we got, what do we got? We got Thursday, Friday. It's a half a day Monday. And... You know, this is going to be a wild one because of the fact that uh, you get uh, July 4th on Tuesday. So 
there's going to be no one in the offices on Monday, folks, okay? <laughs> That's the bottom line. It's just it's not going to happen. Volume-wise out here, what we have thus far today, you got in the NYSE, you're going, to, you're going to do about $800 million in the NYSE. Right now, you're at 426 The composite, you're at 36 So the composite is going to probably only do about 4.5. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now. Trading down 116. NASDAQ's up 21. S&P's off 7.5. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now down to 132. You get the NASDAQ up 14. S&Ps are off 9.5. And... and Let's see, what was the question here on Home Depot? On Home Depot, is it done with the move up? Okay, so let's take a look at Home Depot. So with Home Depot, the way that you would look at this is that if you take the, the top of the consolidation, which is the 303, the bottom approximately 280, so you get 23, which gets you uh, 325. And we hit 315. So to answer that question is no, it's not done 
in the longer term, okay? Now, what you have here is that, yeah, it broke top side, it's pulling back. That's, you know, basically a normal situation almost, meaning you either pull back on a stock that's already gone higher, the breakout. What you'd be looking for, if you're, I'm not sure whether you're buying it or you're in it right now, you'd be looking for it to come back to this area of uh, 304, and as long as it did come back with light volume, you're in. You're in. That's how that works. Because you can see the, the amount of volume that it's coming into is 10 million. So you're coming into 10 million with 2.6. And that, that, this is how also you could tell that Home Depot wanted to bust higher. Because it, it was pushing, the, the last swing point prior to that had 3.7. It pushes into it with 10. It goes lower with 3. And then it breaks with 4.4. Yesterday it does uh, 5.3. Come to daddy here. One second. I'm sorry about this, folks. I got to be doing a million things at the same time. <laughs> That's in Home Depot. Um, the other next question was Nvidia and ABC down. So if we take a look at Nvidia and VDA. Well, that's the larger ABC up, that's for sure. So let's put this on a weekly. Well, if you want a real mind blower, <laughs> now this is this is where you're dealing with, I mean, a much longer term chart. But this is how Nvidia would be set up. You could actually take 346, you know, up there, and then take the low of 108. What is that? Then you come up with, what did I say, 346? <laughs> this will not blow your mind, 6. That's like 560. That's, that's where that thing can actually go on a longer-term basis. On a shorter-term basis, I expect what you're going to see is that you're going to come back into this gap. You'll fill the gap, and what will end up happening is that when you actually fill in this gap, it will be a vicious fill because what happens is that when you're it, it, it's not going to be easy let's put it that way that's just how it goes man you know they're not going to make that easy that oh you just come down you fill the gap with light volume something's going to happen that it's going to be vicious it comes down fast and furious but you can see the volume that you're coming into it's a monster volume that you're coming into so the reality is is that that would be the first buy that's how that would be set up and uh, they never make them easy. NVIDIA and Amazon are two of the hardest equities that I've seen to basically get into. You know, because the, you can see the same with Amazon. Look at it. I mean, Amazon's just gone from 82 to 128. We pulled this all the way back. Yeah. And now Amazon is just... Amazon's also coming up to a place where it's probably going to give it up. But I don't expect that's going to happen until you almost get up to 146. And right now you're dealing at 128. We go take a look at the uh, GDX. It hasn't, GDX doesn't have the expansion of volume yet, but... The bottom line is that you want the GDX to basically be above this uh, 2953 area. We go to Barrick, take a look at Barrick Gold. That's setting up the Bar Barrick tested lower blows, rejected it. This is building cause for higher price. Aniko Eagle AEM.
Now this one's gonna get interesting because this wasn't a buy yet, but this looks to me like it's, it's starting to set up. Yep. So you're, you're coming into 9.4 million. The first time down, you did 1.9 million. You can see this today, you're doing 1.4, and you got a rejection, and you get a small little bar, because many of these other equities inside of the gold and silver market have rejected lower price, have had lighter volume, all of the above. Pan American Silver, this has to get, this has to actually get inside uh, 1441 again. Right now you're at uh, 1417. It's drifting lower. So that, that's in a whole nother range. Let me pull this back, Let's see what happened here. I see, okay, so it's not in the, the high volume low here is 1340. Right now you're at the 1417. You broke 1441, that's 22 million shares. Yeah, we're not gonna do that, not even close. So check this one out, this is kind of interesting actually. You know, one swing low has 22 million. We had two days left and we've only done 7 million. Now what you'd like to see as you'd like to see before Friday, is that it actually closes above the 1441. Because if it doesn't, then it will go after that high volume low that, you know, has 1340. Which, you know, it's only 80 cents lower, but that's still 80 cents in a $14 stock, okay? Which, you know, could put some damage, uh, no doubt. Go back to the uh, E-mini again, because this thing's trying to figure out what to do, whether it wants to go back and test this area one more time. Pull that over. So you can see, okay, so when we just went up, that had 22,000 contracts, went to 17,000. Okay, that's not bad, it's 19,000. You see this? That's not bad, right there. Because the last time, last swing high was 19,000. We didn't make it, but yet we did 22. So that's not bad. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 137. NASDAQ is up 10. S&P's off 10 and a half. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. 
The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, down 122. Nasdaq's up uh, 21. S&Ps are off 7.5. Let's go take a look at uh, Micron out here. Micron's coming out after the close today. We have... One second, sorry about this, folks. 54. Okay. okay, so we had a low for the year is 48, the high 74. You have a PE that's running out at, uh, what? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, let me look at something. They do lose money. That is weird. I think it had a negative P.E., man. Okay, so let's take a look at it. They plan on taking $3.7 billion, but they're losing $1.59. They're losing monster money this year. If something has to happen. They're losing $4.65. I have no idea why. There we go. I got executed. Now I can pay attention, folks. Okay. Um, so, Micron. Let's take a look at what we have here. So, Micron... You came down hard. Let me put this on a weekly. So you overtook the consolidation. You go higher. Yeah, I'd say a micro wants higher price, man. You know, you broke out of the consolidation. You pull back. You can see, see, we on a weekly went high with 131 million shares. You went with higher with 86, it gave it up. You just, the first time you pulled back with 80, but 80 is going into 100. So that's, that's a good number. And this week we get 49 versus 80. But we have two days left. That's a good number. That's telling me that uh, that thing does want higher price, man. So. We'll see how that shakes out tonight. I, I'm surprised that, I mean, something must be going on with that. That, that actually blows my mind. Let me just look, look at this again. So Micron, that's a whole different business model, I guess, right? Because when you look at this, they're saying, oh, yeah, so they must have spun something out or something. I mean, they did $30 billion in 2022. They're only doing $15 billion this year. They made $8.35 last year and they're gonna lose 466 this year and then next year they're only gonna make 39 cents so that is a whole different ball game than uh here watch this let's go over to nvidia i mean this is where this gets really wild nvidia is looking look at these numbers nvidia so five years ago nvidia did 11.7 billion Last year it did 27 billion, this year 42 billion. So the next quarter, folks, okay, listen to this, man. The next quarter, they plan on doing 11 billion in 90 days, where in 2019 they did 11.7 billion in the whole year. That is unbelievable. And the bottom line is that everyone needs their cards. If you, if they're gonna, run larger programs they need their cards that's the bottom line that's how that whole thing shakes out 
We go take a look at the uh, silver market. Okay, so silver's trading down 17 cents. This is this is a good setup, man. You're only doing 35,000 contracts. That's light contract volume. You're coming into 38,000. This is a new contract, but the bottom line, that's light contract volume. If we look at the SLV, you'll see this. Okay, this will show up in the SLV pretty good. Yeah, it is. So the SLV... You're coming into uh, 12 million shares, you're doing six. These, this is saying this wants higher price. If we get over to the dollar, that's it's also saying that the dollar probably is going to fail on price. We'll see how this shakes out. But you can see what we had here is that on, what was this? Uh, so that's on last Friday, the dollar made it up to 103, 166. Today it made it to 103, 145. Uh, both times gave it up slightly nothing heavy but did he give it up slightly go back to that e-mini for a second because this battle is going to be there'll be a battle in over the 435 and in inside the spy folks that's where the battle comes in that they want to pin it at 435 which they could real easy because that high volume low that we didn't break is 435.59 but anyway here yeah, let's look at this e-mini for a second you can see that here's the battle since we've been on. Last time we came down, we had 19,000 contracts. But the one at 22,000, that's good contract volume up there. So that should get tested. And right now, oh, look at this. Hold on, what time is it? Yeah, this is pretty good. That, this, contra this, this one right here, you already have 20,000 and you get two minutes left. That's saying that's going to go, go for it right now. So in the next bar, see, this is what's cool. So check this out. When you get something like this, I, I mean, I know I'm chopping this down to 10 minute, but there's plenty of day traders in here. So when you're chopping this down like this, you get 22,000, you're already at 20,300. The cool thing is that if you, if you have some momentum going into a bar like that and you stop right before it, you have a much higher probability of trying to get into it and take it out. The reason being, it's just like the aspect of the, you know, like if you're swimming or running or whatever it is, if you're starting way back and then you just keep going and going without the break, you know, you can give it up at the end. What happens in the market, it's the same way. If you come back up to a swing point and right before you get to the swing, you know, you have some good volume, right? You don't hit the swing, then the next volume bar starts, your probability goes much higher that you can go bang right through it, particularly when we're talking about it's 3.49 Eastern Standard Time. So we'll see where it shakes out. You're going to see a lot of this tomorrow and the next day. That, you know, you're going to have a small consolidation that's happening. We'll, we'll bounce back and forth. Um, the, my take, as I said, is that we're going higher. But intraday, you will get these downdrafts. Because even when we had that downdraft intraday today, um, there's no volume on it, but it didn't matter. The bottom line wanted to come right back to almost the lows. Couldn't make the lows. You see the next time up, you didn't have as many buyers. Next time down, they couldn't take it out. And then they'll maybe push this thing sideways coming, coming into the close. That's how I think this is, excuse me, how this is going to shake out. If we go over to lows, let's go take a look at lows. Actually, let's go. I'm going to go take a look at Toll Brothers first. You take a look at Toll Brothers. Look at another high. Now, it's giving it up in price. Another high. What's Lennar doing? That hit a high, too. Gave it up on price. Each time you look at those home builders, and then you look at Home Depot, you look at builders first, it's like, okay, there's, these rates are coming down. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow. Oh, folks, don't forget about the Tiger Dollar Sale. So we started the Tiger Dollar Sale. The way the Tiger Dollar Sale works is that you can get up to 40% off. Um, stay right there. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Dow's uh, down 97. NASDAQ is uh, up 30. S&Ps are off 4. Let's go take a look uh, at Google. So if we take a look at Google here, come on, where are you? Okay, so this is good. Let's see, so we're at 121. Well, you want to see this get back inside 122. 122.63, that's the number, because that was that big downdraft. And what Google doesn't have, well, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, this looks to me like it's, you're going to get up to at least that 123 area. ASX. This baby here, let's see what this is, ASX. It's mixed tools in the semiconductor business, I believe, yeah. So assembly and testing services, the low is $4.45, the high is 9 We take a look at this. Now, this has been a rocket ship off the low, so you've got to be really careful, man, if you're long this. I mean, this went straight up, well, 650 to 860 put this on a weekly for a second. Oh, I see what it's doing. Okay, so it's going to test its highs. This is a good setup. You know, see the last high, let me bring this back a few, actually longer. Yeah. The last high, you had volume of 12 million and you're pushing it with 31 million. Yeah, you might get some pullbacks here, but if you long that baby, this, this is baby's gonna go after this high, which is at 962. That's how that seems to be uh, setting up right now. And 
ASX NQ. Newmont. Let me get Newmont one second. NEM. We take a look at Newmont. On Newmont, yeah, let it let it test this uh what that 4080. You know, it's, it's pulling back in with nice light volume, and you do have high volume at the 4392. So that's saying it does want to go back to 4392. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Don't forget about Tiger Dolls, folks. Look at them, folks. Building wealth.